good morning guys. You notice something's missing? Yeah, we sold the trailer. I sure hope we don't need it because we still are waiting on the bank to do the paperwork. I'm sure the builder's getting antsy. I know I am. But uh, anyway, the trailer, trailer got sold last night. And I'm going to use that money and buy me a, a bully barn. It'll go way back in there. And hopefully, I think the bully barn will go back there. I'm also checking into a uh, RV barn. Otherwise, the bully barn will go right there in that grassy area there. And uh, i got to mow that today, if possible. But uh, anyway, uh, that's where what I'm going to do with the money. I may put some of it into fencing. Depends on how much the bully barn costs. But this is what we're doing today. Uh, they got the, got all, had to take all the lumber out of the little trailer to put extra stuff in there until I get to my shelves built. And this is uh, the shelf material. This is going to be building shelves in, in for the that little uh, utility room there, or whatever it's called, where your uh, water heater and all is. I'm going to organize that. They've got a good place for shelves up through there, so I'll build those. That's what these boards are going to be for. These are shelves, nice and straight, best you can buy. Yeah. And uh, I probably will use half of this for another shelf. I, I mean, half of one of these. I'll use, cut this in half, cut this in uh, three foot pieces. And then I'm going to use probably one put, one piece of it there, and two of it, three of it there. <clears throat> I think it'll be plenty. And then uh, I got the two befores. Better buy them while you can afford them. <clears throat> this is uh, going to be the top to the counter. Cabinets over there. I might put some for not for mica on it. You guys, are, some of you maybe never seen that applied, so I might do that. But today we're cutting this, and the saw I was using was so dull, it burned its way through that piece there. And then this piece will go down here. So I'm going to try to sand it, make it look a little better. <clears throat> That's what we got going today. Uh... I might use finish nails to put that on with now that I got my air compressor going. I still haven't got my air wheel up there. And I got to do something about mounting that uh, thing down there. I want it mounted to the concrete so it don't shake all over the place. So we got to do that later. Don't need it right now. But uh, that's what today's project's going to be. Uh, it was nice to wake up to have TV channels today. That was good. And did a little more work in the office, trying to get all the computers hooked together. I got a lot of them. And I'd sure like to be able to just hit a print button and send it to something in the printer. But let's see what we got going on here today. Let's get on it. Get on it. Okay, guys, we got it sanded down. And I could have used a router and went around it, but this is plywood. And uh, it could splinter and all that, so I just used the sander, wherever the sander is, it's around here somewhere. I used a belt sander just around the edges so I don't catch, get uh, splinters or something. They're all rounded, both top and bottom. Uh, there's the sander. I just used a belt sander. I'll do the same thing to this piece, then I'll show you what I'm going to do there. But I'm going to get this all squared up on here, and then uh, I think I'm just going to nail it down, like I said, with some... Uh, finish nails I got that way they're not sticking up if I got them I'll have to look and see if I still got all that stuff but there we go another little scene there minute long I guess that's all there is to it oh I'm listening to my Bluetooth on my radio remember that little contraption I bought see if you can see it in there yeah, right there I bought that little contraption for the bike works great in here too so I'm listening to internet radio Pandora is what I'm listening to. If you ever haven't listened to it, try, uh, let's see, Buffalo Springfield Radio. Yeah. Give that a listen to. Well, the good thing about using a finish nailer, it's a finish nailer. We wouldn't be able to hardly see those. It ain't going to catch nothing on it when you slide your, your wood on it or anything. Uh, Spanky called me. He's got something he wants me to put on there, on the top of there. Uh, before I stain it. I don't know if I'm going to stain the whole thing or not. 
I think about just staining the top of it and then painting the bottom of it to white or something. But time will tell. Anyway, that's done. Now I'm going to start on that other piece over there. Next clip. Well, we'll show I it. got to take a little break. Charlie Blood called me. Always good to hear from him. He got a brand, not a brand new, but a new to him RV. Sounds awesome. It's a motorhome. He's going to come and see us pretty soon. And uh, that's why I'm getting that uh, pad ready at down that back there for him to be able to come over and plug into my electricity and such. Well, this is what we're doing right now. I wanted to show you this step of it. Uh, you see down through there, there's a little hole. That's where the sawdust comes down. And I usually catch it in a... I made me a little box. It catches it and it gets full. Well, I'm going to make something different here, but I wanted to know where the hole was. And that's where the hole is. So uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I can't show you right now. <laughs> the next scene will show you what I'm going to do because i got to go find what I'm needing. All right, hang in here. We'll be right back. Trust me, it didn't take just a flash for me to get to this next project. It took me about 15 minutes to find my bucket. But anyway, here's what we're going to do. That little hole right there. Well, this bucket's going to go over it, hopefully. i got to measure everything yet and make sure. That's the plan. The bucket's going to slide there. I'll put some rails so this slides in and out, catches all my sawdust. So uh, that's the plan. Let's see if it'll work. Hang in here. I'll be right back. Well, my sweet wife bought me, brought me out a sandwich. Good thing about being hooked to the house. Hey, uh, well, I got a nice little saber saw here. But my tools were all stored at my nephew's, and he decided he wanted to organize. Anyway, I can't find a blade for that, so I had to use this sawzall. You ever tried to cut a circle with a sawzall? It don't come out too good. It comes out good enough. Nobody's ever going to see it, but... What does this remind you of? I'm just going to leave that right there. Yep. There's a hole. <laughs> yeah. Think about it. Well, the sandwich is gone. Still working on them chips. But I wanted to show you what we got going on here. Okay, this is, uh, this is what we've done to a piece of wood. Put it on the old table saw. I gotta clean this one up yet. These are glued and screwed. I, my father had been passed away a long time ago, but he always told me glue and nails are cheap when you're building. And they're not as cheap as they once was, but I always glue and screw or nail. And here's how this is gonna work. This last piece goes up here. Probably don't need it, but I'm gonna put it right there anywhere, somewhere up there. We'll know in a minute. All right, this just slides underneath the, you'll see it in a minute, that just slides just like that underneath the hill and it'll catch, catch all my sawdust. Then I want to get the sawdust out of it, pull it right out, push it right in. It ain't going to fall nowhere. Ha, huh, ingenious. My idea, by the way, a lot of people hook up vacuum cleaners and all that stuff to it, but ah, I'll just catch it. All right, let's keep going. Well... Here's the finished product. All I got to do is unbolt that uh, table saw now off of there and then put it on top of here. And if my measurements are right, it should fit right on there and be smooth sailing. And then here's the bucket. I was telling you, slide that out and get my sawdust out all the way out, throw it, dump it out, save it, and shove it back in. Let's see. Shove it in. There you go. See? That's how that goes. Hi. I found my slippers. Good girl. She found her slippers. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can unbolt that. Don't know if I'm going to attempt to move that onto there by myself or not. That's kind of a two-man job, I think. But I'm going to get it cleaned up and ready to go. That's what I'm going to do now. And all my other stuff will slide right under there. We'll be cleaning up this, all this stuff here, the top benches. All that stuff will be going underneath. Then, oh, I got to put some cabinets up in there next. 
Then I'm going to start on my bench. Stay tuned. More well, coming. I got it apart. Uh, I got some fine tuning to do, but that ain't going to. That's no big deal. Got to just notch out for this and that. But here's the good thing that I was worried about. Okay, I'm cutting a piece of wood here, see? And it's long enough I don't want it to fall off. So, what's it do? It goes right over that. You see that? Smooth. Now, that's what I wanted. So, we're at the right height. But I think I need some bracing under there. That looks pretty bold to me. I think I got an idea what I'm going to do. I'm either going to put a, a six by something here and fasten it to that way, or I'm going to put some shelf clamps, shelf deals underneath there that'll support it also. And I got those over there. So that's what I got to do. And then I got to notch out a little bit for the motor. I knew I would. Just got to notch out. You can't see it, but right down in there. There's a line. I got to notch that out. So I pull that out, notch that out, and we're good to go there. Then I'll put some braces up there. And uh, it's ready to rock and roll. Yeah, and I didn't have any help to put that up there. That was kind of heavy, as you can see by the bowing of the board. So what I'll do is put on a. Yep, I'll jack that up and then put whatever support I need to go in that corner. In that corner, little jack, little jack horner. Matter of fact, I got a big board over here I can cut up for that. I got a big one right there. Look at that big one right there. I'm going to cut, measure that if it fits. I'm going to cut that on an angle and put it right in there. That'll take care of that. All right, I'm going to do them notching. Nachos. Yeah, notching. All right, I got company coming today, so I ain't going to work all day. I already have. I don't know what time it is, but I know it's. It's late. All right, let's get to well, it. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up the coat for a little while. I need to take a break. Uh, but this took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take to build. But um, happy with it now. It's uh, pretty god dang sturdy. That's for sure. And uh, I moved it. And. Uh, you can see all the other space I got. I need to, I can move it up another couple feet once I get all this stuff out of here and give me just enough room here, right here, that I can turn around and work on the bench on the side of it or not. I can push that cart up a little bit further this way. I can push it up another six inches. Uh, if I take that off, I can push it all the way up to there, which I'll probably take that uh, off of there because I could use that other places. Then... Once I push that up there, we're killing three or four birds with one stone because that will not take up any more room than that lift itself laying there on the floor. And we got this up off the ground and it'll be back up there. That's going to work really good there for cutting lumber and such. And I'll be working on top of that there with the lumber, building stuff. Uh, got it all straightened out, got the bow out of the thing, made it... Uh, that's pretty sturdy there. Them, them pieces are screwed on all the way along there. And uh, then I've, I've got to organize yet, but I might do that. I might come back out, but I'm going to go rest for a minute. It's been a long day. I have no clue idea what time it is. No clue idea. I have no idea what time it is. That right there, that's probably going in the dumpster. Uh, I like the way that turned out. Uh, we're going to put some slap some stain on it. And all these baskets here, that's where the parts for that will go. They'll go right up in there. Good to go. Well, I might just call that a, like I said, a done movie for today. And then I'll show you the next one. We'll have it all. We won't have it stained yet because I'm waiting on that stain to get here. But we'll have all it organized. So, from the old rat's nest, I think that's going to be a, a wrap on this video.